Hi, this is Jan from Our Serenity Homestead, and today I'm going to go through my fire kit. Now, I've had go bags and get home bags and uh, bug out bags and all that, and each of them contain a small, tiny little fire kit. But I have over the years figured out a very comprehensive fire kit that goes with my either go bag or my camping supplies or my get home bag. And so I wanted to go through all the items that I have put in here. Now, as I learn or as I use things up, then I usually improve on my kit. But this is what we're using for this next series that we're doing, um, bushcrafting things for women. And I wanted to show you what's in my kit because when you see the bushcrafting series start, Julie, the crazy goat lady, and I, We'll start working on starting fires and we'll be using the items in this fire kit. So let's get started. First off, this bag is not uh, your typical Max Pedition bag or anything. It's actually uh, a bag I got off of Amazon. It's for holding computer chips, SD cards, cables, phone chargers, all that. And I really liked it and I liked that it was red. So it became my fire kit. Alright, so it has a zipper pouch. It has a middle section with two pockets. It has a larger section in the back that has Velcro to hold items in. So we're just going to start from the front and work our way back. So we're going to start with the zipper pouch. And I'm going to just lay the items out. First, I have a personal bellows. Second, I have a magnesium bar with a ferro rod and a striker. So you can strike that and you can shave the magnesium off with the serrated part of this blade. And I put a piece of paracord on it because that's always good to have. I have a Bic type lighter and I like the see-through ones because then I can see if I still have fuel in there and I've wrapped Gorilla Tape on it for another type of fire starter. I have a tea light candle which we all know makes a great fire starter. I have some very fine steel wool. Now most people don't go in the woods without a flashlight and with the steel wool you separate it like this. You can take your flashlight battery and touch it both ends positive negative to this and this will immediately start on fire and you can use that to catch fire. I have a Fresnel lens so I can use that to start fire. And I have your regular old strike on the box wooden matches. So that's this personal bellows, I think is pretty cool. So when you get your tinder bundle starting to go, you can blow on it, give it some oxygen. So I really like my bellows. But that's what's in the first part. I'm going to move this over here. In the flap, I have a contractor's um, pencil sharpener. And what you use that for is to make little curls of tinder. Stick a stick in there and make tinder on this uh, razor blade. And I like the contractor one because it's heavy duty. It has a little sharpener here, but that's pretty worthless. But you can sharpen little sticks to get some tinder. I have waxed dental floss. You can fray that up or tie bundles of sticks together. It's very flammable. I have six little birthday candles. Um, those are great to start a fire if you need. It takes you a minute to get all your tinder going, your tinder bundle. This will elongate the time that you have a fire. You don't have to hold a lighter till it gets too hot. So that's what's in the center pouch. I 
Um, in the middle section, I have very little left, but I have dryer lint that I got from my kids. I have some made uh, char cloth, a little charring tin that I poked a hole in, and more char cloth, char cloth that I make. I've got some Vaseline infused cotton balls or neosporin. I have a cotton tampon. I have shards of fat wood. I have some um, storm matches and the striker that they use uh, for their matches. These things will burn a long time. And I have two pieces of aluminum foil. One I can put on a wet ground to use as a fire lay to keep the moisture off my fire. The other I can fashion into a bowl or a cup if I need to boil water. And something new I've recently added. I have this little container I used when I was geocaching. And inside... about a third of the way full I have magnesium uh, shavings and these things they burn at about 5500 degrees Fahrenheit so they get really hot so you can sprinkle a little bit of that on your tinder bundle and uh, it'll fire right up now the uh, only other thing I have is a new type of tinder that I have recently started making let me grab one of those I'll be putting these both in uh, little ziploc bags this is a cotton round, like a makeup cotton round. You can see it's hard. It's double dipped in paraffin wax. And to use it, you would move it back and forth to break it open and tear it a little bit, exposing the cotton fibers. And then you can light it with a ferro rod or a lighter or a match. This is essentially the same thing. However, you might notice color difference. What I did was I melted some Vaseline and dipped this in the Vaseline and then once that hardened a little bit I twice dipped it in wax so this one catches much faster. So that's about it. This is my fire kit. It all packs down to this small little case logic type case. And, uh, I hope you like it. If you don't have one, start making one.